Hi guys, this MS Malik681 making a uh, Open Beats of Rage video again after quite a while. So um, I've been looking into a a fake 3D effect known as sprite stacking, where you get a 3D model and you split it up into uh, sections and you layer these sections on top of each other in a 2D plane, and when you rotate it as long as there's a certain offset between each pixel it will give a fake 3D effect and it looks really interesting you could actually make games like this I mean people on Game Maker Studio some people try making games uh, using this effect of sprite stacking there's actually a quite a popular demo where someone did show what kind of game you can make using sprite stacking uh, it gave a very realistic 3D effect to it or it had a nice 3D effect to it uh, I did get kind of obsessed with this um, searching up as much as I could and I really wanted to see if something like this could be achieved in Open Beats Rage and yes it can so um, here's my demo that I made I'll have a, a link to this in the description I'm using the app image for Linux but there's a exe in there as well um, and the data folder so I'll quickly show you the, um, the demo it's just a basic tiny game and uh, when you start it this car appears I should actually show you the car first um, so you saw the car there but just take a look at the assets for it um, so these are the assets for the car so let's just open these up in GIMP uh, don't want that full screen so I can just drag and drop these in there so I mean if you look at these they don't look anything like a car so this is actually the first layer it's the bottom of the wheels where they're just touching the ground and this right here will be the actual wheels this will be the wheels connected to the bottom of the car this will be more of the car with just the tip of the wheels uh, I believe this one is the like the windscreen and stuff and this one's more the windscreen with the um, the towel thing and finally you'll just have the very tip of the car so individually these don't look anything like a car but when you stack them all on top of each other perfectly um, they all look like a car which I think I can actually show you right now um, so I've put the first one in and instead of putting the rest in on the um, separate images I'll put them in as a separate layers when you put the layers stacked on top of each other even in a paint program it should look like a car it should but I got this pink um, I got this pink uh, background color if that wasn't there if it was transparent these on top of each other actually do look like a car which I can't really demonstrate here but obviously I can show you in open beats of rage so again let's go back to the demo so yeah there it is this is all the sprites stacked on top of each other it does actually look like a car and uh, I mean the whole point is to make them stack on top of each other have an offset of like one I did two to make it look more I don't know more 3D uh, it's supposed to be one but I don't know it depends on the model you make and obviously the more sprites and stacks you got there uh, the more 3D it will look I guess or you can make anything you can actually draw trees you could draw robots I don't think in these type of games your main character should be 3D I mean a character can face in all eight directions so this is just for things in the game like I mean this I mean if you rotate this um, you know it does kind of look 3D tell the truth the rotation um, or the how could I say the deformation when it rotates it's not very nice it's not very clean I don't know if this because we use 256 color images maybe it's because they're not high color images that's why they're so deformed like that um, don't know maybe someone like DC can clear that up I don't know um, it might just be the algorithm we use for rotating but either way I've seen this exact same sprite rotated in another in Game Maker Studio actually and it was so clean and nice um, but anyway like I said it gives that fake 3D effect so I'm actually I'm actually cooler I don't know if you can see her feet in the top left but you know I've made her I've got rid of her walk animation so she doesn't move and uh, I've got an update script here just whenever I press left or right 
you can see that rotation number there um, that rotation number there just keeps going up and down uh, up to 360 and then back down to zero or vice versa so it's got a 360 rotation for the car and I'll give a brief explanation how I did that uh, also there was something else this is like a top-down type game I don't actually use the Y axis I'm just using the Z uh, which would be Y in these type of games and um, X so there's something in Open Beats Rage I don't think it had any native functionality to just face in a direction and move like if I press forward right now it wouldn't move in that direction so I, I had to get the formula to do something like that so now if I press forward whichever direction I'm facing it will fly off that way uh, but I, I haven't seen any games actually make use of this type of thing so I'll explain how I did that as well I mean obviously I'll, I'll supply the demo so it'll have all the code in there so um, hopefully this this will help someone but yeah let me just give you a quick overview of what I did to accomplish this uh, I mean did a sprite stacking game really your character should be an eight directional character and the the backgrounds and the houses and the images they all should rotate around the character that all sounds really complicated I couldn't figure out how to do that yet I might look into that in the future but I've got way too many projects to even think about that right now um, but yeah I I've got a maximum Z and a minimum Z which this is subject to so it will not go higher than the top or bottom but for the edges I had to I had to keep pushing it back to whatever the screen edge is minus 10 so it gives that little weird bumpy effect I don't know there might be a way to smooth that out so it's more like this oh she just died oh I ran out of time oh okay <laughs> I've never messed about with it for that long uh, but yeah let's just get out of there so that demo will be available in the downloads I'll also put a link to the actual video I followed to to get that up and running and uh, like I said I'll just give a brief overview of the scripts used so to get the actual car in there I made a character for a car well I made several characters each layer I gave a um, I made a these are all panels uh, the first one I just did is type none and on top of that I spawn binded all of these extra characters if you don't know what I'm talking about you're not advanced enough in open board to be doing this um, but yeah so let me just show you the first one open with uh, text editor yeah I don't like text editor don't know why I even opened it with that open with sublime text okay so um, we spawn the car zero one like I said this first one is type none I've done it subject to min z and max z um, made sure I set the palette because the first frame I got here is not a frame which uses the actual palette um, and in the spawn animation I've told it to spawn bind car02 um, at my um, well this right here get global var y that's actually a, a a global variable it's getting there so uh, I've set the the y uh, how high this next object will be spawned above you I've done that as a global variable so I could play about with it without having to go into every single uh, frame and update them manually when you have to do that it's so annoying like I changed this from PNG to GIF I had to open them all up and change it and uh, there was this animation name I decided to change and oh it's a nightmare but anyway um, so you spawn by number two and then you've got your idle animation which loops forever and all it does is say uh, rotation so this controls the car rotating in the 360 uh, and it also controls it moving forward I'll explain those in a moment so I've got the animation scripts um, updated there to the script C and uh, again it spawns car number two and then all the cars basically do the same thing they spawn the next the next um, car above them so number two spawns car number three and it's got the exact same idle animation um, and vi it just carries on all the way down until you get to the last one which obviously doesn't spawn anymore you'll be stuck in an infinite spawn loop so this one just doesn't spawn anything and it just does the same so that's all that out of the way that's all you need for the car and then um, you go into your scripts folder I did have to set in the scripts txt always update um, just to make sure I can reset some stuff at the menu because it kept getting stuck um, so I'll go into scripts so this is actually just this is just a forwarder it's not a real script 
uh, it's using the import method to import this which is the main scripts um, I've tried to keep only the scripts that are needed so spawn bind is needed to bind the other entities um, and also here the rotation script so this is the script I wrote for this rotation um, it might be better to look at updated C to understand what's going on there so updated C um, in this uh, here I set the global var to y equals 2 I'll set that as 1 initially but the card looked a bit flat so I'll set it as 2 to give it more of a 3D look uh, rotation timer uh, so this is the rotation up to 360 and this is for the timer to to not allow you to rotate too quickly if you're constantly rotating your car will be spinning about in like crazy speeds so I had to use a timer to just um, limit how fast it rotates so um, first it will check if you're in a level and then uh, if the rotation hasn't been set it will set it to zero and uh, the time will be set to uh, open bore variant elapsed time so this is actually this initiates on every tick whenever you go into the script and uh, then if the player keys move left um, and the timer is less than time so initially that timer will be zero or null uh, so here I've also done a or statement to make sure if his, the timer is set to null also move into this um, if statement so we'll set the timer to time plus 10 so 10 seconds later this will run again if you're still holding left uh, and the rotation will move or increment by 10 uh, now if the rotation gets above the value of 359 ro reset it back to zero so this ensures you can keep rotating round and round and round again and it doesn't go too high because that will start breaking everything um, I don't know why I had to set it as 359 I played about with numbers I thought first I did initially rotation equals 360 go back to zero but that was causing the, the sprite to flicker uh, again I also had to do it down here so this is from moving right again I did all the timer stuff to make sure it's not constantly running so timer plus 10 uh, so rotation minus 10 so it goes in the opposite direction and again um, with this one I had to do if the rotation is less than 0 go to 350 which is because it increments in tens it will go down from 0 to 350 which will be the next one after again these these two I had to play about with until I got the right one that doesn't make the sprite flicker because it was like disappearing and coming back quickly um, when it rotated past the actual 0 or 360 point but this fixes that um, and then we update the rotation global variable and um, then we do change draw method uh, to rotate based on the rotation uh, variable so wherever the rotation is it, it that's what your draw method will rotate you to and then draw string um, this is just to display the output onto the screen initially I was going to use draw sprite to make this um, work but I decided not to uh, I have got an else statement so if you're not in game if you're at the menu or somewhere else it will reset these variables just to stop the um, like I said it can break if you if you do that so going back to this uh, rotation script this is the animation script uh, so first it enables draw method uh, change draw method uh, rotate to rotation you know what this I don't actually think I need this is for when I was working with sprites I don't even need that there I don't, uh, it's there anyway but whatever um, <coughs> so it will check if uh, your type is none so as I explained earlier the only one of those stacks that actually um, is type none is the main base stack so I didn't want to be uh, using this whole script on every single parts to the car they're all spawn binded to the bottom one so the bottom one the base one the first one that has type none if that's moving around the screen these will all move with it and they're all rotating based on a global variable for rotation so they'll all rotate at the same time so uh, I didn't want to overload the engine I mean this method in general is just doesn't seem very optimized I mean you'll be having if you're actually making a game using this you'll be having like hundreds of sprites at the same time all getting up rotated and um, using update scripts so um, it's not going to be running very good on low-end hardware I guess uh, most PCs should be fine but I think if you try porting this to either the Wii the PSP maybe even the PS Vita or the Android it might run a bit laggy uh, so here if you've um, 
if you hold down the key move up this will actually um, get your X position first uh, well it will actually get the um, open ball variant for this end of the screen so the left of the screen and then it get your X position and it will change your velocity um, to uh, this 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 calculation here is what makes you move in the direction of that you're facing uh, when I initially tried it like this you were just flying off the screen and dying I believe um, so I had to limit it by timesing it by 0 0.01 to really calm it down um, so th this worked for me and I was lucky and this is the uh, Z value so again I had to times it by 0 0.01 uh, so you use cosine and sine to get the I don't understand the maths behind this I didn't write the script I actually just copy and pasted it from somewhere and then uh, the last value for movement didn't want to change it because we don't really use the the Y so I just left that and uh, here again this this is if you're going out of screen if you're pushing too far on the screen it will push you back and if you're pushing too far to the left it will push you back uh, that's where the car is constantly jumping backwards and forwards and um, if you're not holding down up then this will just zero out the velocity uh, and obviously the spawn bind 2 script to that I don't really think that needs explaining for this uh, so I mean that's it that's that's what I did to make this work and uh, yeah I was quite quite happy with the uh, output tell truth um, the rotation did look a bit ugly but you know what can you do uh, that's how it would look in open beats rage though if you did um, decide to try this I mean I just wanted to share this demo I mean I couldn't help myself I saw it I liked it I wanted to try it I wanted to see something 3d running in this 2d only engine and I think it looks quite nice so thanks for watching and uh, uh, like and subscribe I guess <laughs> see you later guys